Mike the Ref Maloney, Big Bad Boris on the call here tonight. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let the Super Kick Party! Yeah, pay the money for that. No one and of course, you gotta get the coffins. Hey, yo, 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 and away we go. Happy Wednesday night. I almost forgot what day of the week it was this week. Jeez, it's, it feels like it's been one day. It also feels like it's been two months since our last episode of AEW here. With that, uh, that pay-per-view on Saturday, like seriously. So many thoughts could come out of it here, whether it's... um. Whether it's the chaos that was the unsanctioned match, the absolute insanity of what John Moxley did in the in the quote unquote main event. Hey, Snow Penguin, how you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying life as it always needs to be. And yeah, just it, it's it's a little nuts here tonight. So. Tonight is typically for AEW, the uh, Raw After Mania kind of uh, scenario. If you want to give it a close comparison to what we've seen in other ways. So. Annoyed with processes, I don't blame you. I'm just, you know, sometimes when it comes to doing stuff, you just gotta... It, there's a lot of waiting, there's a lot of paperwork, there's a lot of... A lot of things you want to do now, but you gotta wait until later and... Just, it can get very frustrating very quickly, so I know where you feel, Snow Penguin. But yeah, um, bringing up tonight's card, we got Jack Perry taking on Leo Rush for the TNT title. We got Mariah May against Queen Amanada in a eliminator match, so nice to see somebody else coming up and stepping up from the ROH roster to try and take on Mariah May. I wish it wasn't somebody that was trying to go for the TV title instead of the main title, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers in many ways. We got Sammy Guevara taking on Mr. Ricochet. Sorry, I just had some guys trying to... <clears throat> Someone's trying to ask me a billion questions here, and I'm just like, nope, 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 nope. Now, Ricochet versus uh, Sammy Guevara, it's another one of those yes, please matchups that we're looking forward to here. And we uh, we also got that tag team gauntlet. So I don't know how the gauntlet match is going to work with tag teams coming out. Is all four going to be in the ring? Are you going to have to tag in and out? I'm assuming all four will be in the ring. That's going to be a lot of chaos. We could have a debut of somebody we don't even know about. We could have a lot of stuff going on here. So, but yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun tonight. So, uh, once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. I know a lot of people are getting warmed up, getting their uh, beverages of choice, getting their, uh, getting getting their food of choice, depending what time zone you're in. Right now, for me, it's close to 6 o'clock. I've just been watching uh, the Aces and the uh, Fever for WNBA. I've been watching that today. Uh, just going into this, it is got into halftime right now. A lot of fun with watching what the Caitlin Clark... Uh, Caitlin Clark stuff all going on, so... But yeah, like uh, uh, in other news, I also uh, finally got, uh, I finally paid for the Marvel vs. Capcom collection that's coming out tonight. Got the pre-order all done up. It's going to be coming up on my computer tomorrow, late morning afternoon. As long as I can get everything organized, we are going to be doing my first ever Steam, uh, streaming off Steam instead of uh, off a console, so... 
this could turn out great. This could turn out absolutely horrible here. So not sure which way it's going to go, but you never know. Sorry, I was just looking at the lights and like either you're very bright or you're very dark. So let's see if we can fix that up. That seems a little better. I, I do have generic lights. I do need to upgrade that. Hey, Zodiac, how you doing it today? Sir? I'm wondering if anybody's going to get stabbed tonight, to be honest with you. We are going to hear from John Moxley and the whole why, John, why. I don't really care because, well, frankly, I just want to see what the result is out of this. Is Darby going to join up with Moxley at this point? Is Was this whole goal of uh, Moxley's just to get Darby out of the way, get Darby the title, or is it he, he wants to take out Mo Danielson himself or he just wants Danielson gone? That's the part I'm worried about here. So, But no, uh, the next 24 hours is going to be a lot of fun here. We got this. After we're done here, we're going to be doing uh, the Shaw Stopper. <laughs> now, I wonder. I, I'm, I was going to ask you about this, Zodiac. Which one should we do? And send the mole about. Do we do security industry a oh, nice <laughs> now you get to be bossy for real? Yeah, hey, it's always good. Uh, I was gonna ask you which one should we do for the main event? Should we do the tag match for the with uh, McDougal and uh, Stacks against Mysterio and Corbin? If um, Mysterio isn't happy, he's leaving. Or if he doesn't win, he's probably leaving. Or do we do the uh, heavyweight title as a main event? It's a PLE, yeah. So we're gonna do we're gonna do two cages. It's just those are the two cage matches we're doing. So send them. Here we go. Sorry, I just. Okay. Okay. One step at a time here. One step at a time. One step at a time, Jay Quick. By the way, good to see you here. Just... Wait a second. Chooses war.
Okay, so... Basically, Moxley doesn't like how everything's run in AEW, so now he's taking over. Let, let's let's get Darby out here. Let's get this fixed right now. Let's see what's going to happen. Why does Shivati seem so enthused about wanting to hear from Christian Cage here? Uh, in terms of the trios titles, let's let's sort out what's actually happening here before we worry about what we're going to do with titles. It's not like we don't have enough titles to worry about right now. So cuz frankly, you got the trios titles there, you got the ROH trios titles. You're having the ROH tag champion here come out what essentially is probably going to be our main event against uh, against Will against uh, Ricochet. Sorry. Oh, goody. Christian's a wild card what to when he cashed in, yeah. Sorry, I I I'm being very careful here with uh a note that just came down here, so I'm wondering if No, he finally figured out that's what they wanted out of him. I wouldn't go that far. All right. Gee, I wonder why he wondered that. Yeah, but if it isn't no if it isn't a no hard holds barred match, how can he do that? Wow! Wow! Wow!
Shivani's got his hand up. He's like, yep, yeah, let him have it. This is a good little thing to get get things, you know, settled in a little bit. Get the feeling sort of calm down here after that big Moxley thing because then it sort of shows you that Moxley isn't going to be here tonight. What the hell is Kip doing? Christian's such a great dick. That, that, that's the best way to put it. He is a dick. And he loves every second of it. All right. So, Oh God. So this is how they're going to do it. This is why they need Mark Davis back. Okay. I'm no Davis. I'm glad he said it. I'm glad he said it. And Takesh just pissed because he wants a title shot. Takesh wants a title shot. That's all he wants. He doesn't care about anything else. What, would you be happy about it? All right. Do we get anybody as a surprise team coming in? All right, so we got Leo Rush and Jack Perry right off the bat tonight. Uh, chat, I know that some people are asking about her night. I honestly don't know the answer. Takesh is going to have a surprise. That could be fun. Can you guys let me know what... Uh, why is Jack driving a short bus? Is there a actual reason for that? I, in, in all the things we've watched, I really haven't figured it out. Like, I don't mind. He should be in a short bus, but hope to catch the grabs Hobbs. My God, would that be a team? If they, if they're a team, they win that. Cause I want to see them in the bucks. Or they get screwed in the last minute and take out whoever won, whoever wins it. I want Motor City. I do too. I just don't know if we're going to get them. That, that's the big thing. Do we get Motor City? I don't think so. All the rumors say that they're signed with WWE, but... I'm sorry until somebody drives into the into the ring as a team. I don't care if they drive, walk, or whatever. If Motor Sheets are in it, they yeah, that, that's that's automatic. I think. So Leo get. Gets his own special entrance.
Oh, he's got Action Andretti in his corner. All right. I guess Dante and Darius are looking to uh, Dante and Darius are probably in the gauntlet, so that's probably why they're not there. Surprised Perry didn't bring out some. Who does he have? He has the Bucks and he's got Okada. And realistically, if they want to show up, they'll show up later. So I see AEW's already got out uh, the promo package from Moxley uh, online. Aubrey's trying to show the title. Next thing you know, she hears kind of wind blowing. What the hell? What? Ha! Ah! Being a jerk all over the camera. I love it. So now that we, so Leo, no title for you. Yeah, well, I like this for the opening match coming out of the pay-per-view, right? And like I was saying earlier, I do feel that tonight is sort of like the reboot. This is the Raw after Mania, if you will, where a lot of new storylines are going to be able to take effect and they're going to start planning things put together here as we go towards Wrestle Dream. But I do have to ask you guys. Your th we've had four days to process it now. Your thoughts on All Out altogether? Have they changed? Have they stayed the same? Have they? Have you thought any better of it? Any worse? Myself, I think my expectations were exactly what they were. Especially for the main event, I think. It I was expecting the same crap that we had there. And yes, I still call it crap, even though, you know, they did very well in doing it. But, uh, the bag spot, it showed a, sort of shows a, a real change in philosophy with, um, Moxley. I think the bag over the face of Danielson was more... More influential than anything done in the cage. Because in the cage, you were expecting all that. You were expecting the chaos. You were expecting the carny. carnage. Carnage. I think it's going to depend on what's next. It could mean a shift in tone for AW. Back to why they were in the... Back to what they were in the pizza cutter. Day. Yeah. No Nick Gage out there, so... I also, one other thing I did notice, and I went back and watched it, and it makes a lot of sense. And it also sort of helps you figure out a little bit more when it comes to Britain. I, I do have to give Mark Henry the credit for this, because he was mentioning it on Busted Open. I saw the clip. I don't, I watch, a, I listen to a little bit of Busted Open when I'm in my work truck since Sirius is free for a year in the new vehicle. Um... One thing you'll notice about Mercedes is she's really stiff in the ring. And what Sheeta did in many ways, she was a little taken aback by it. And that little spot there where she kicked out at one and rolled out of the ring after three katanas, I believe that was Sheeta turning around saying, you're, you're a little stiff, here's your receipt. And that, that's exactly what Henry explained. It made a lot of sense to me when I looked at it like that. And Mercedes didn't take well to... Didn't take well to that shot there. Uh oh uh, Zodiac, you better be careful. Uh, the lawsuit has uh, still... Or the trademark's still being filed right now, and they're out here tonight. So just be careful. Um, but yeah, I... I am worried as well about what they're going to do with Monet after this. Like they, I, I say that she's probably going to be off TV until after Grand Slam at least, which I, I know it's only two weeks away, but still. Um, other than that, the rest of the card was more than fine. The only thing I'm really disappointed about all overall 
is the fact that Pac versus Osprey is not going to get the recognition it deserves because it was overshadowed by what you will see here with uh, Swerve and Hangman, which I don't expect to see either one of those guys around for a while now. But uh, so also some interesting developments that come down this week. Uh, there is a story out there that there is a possibility that uh, AEW might be replacing uh, WWE on Fox Fox One for uh, for a wrestling show. Uh, basically, the situation happened with the contract status of Fox is Fox is not having any problems getting sponsors for for their wrestling product. The problem is I just love watching the eject motion. Uh, you get uh, they don't have any problem getting sponsors for the wrestling segment but for the amount that WWE wanted for their show it just they were they were losing money on it so they just said well no we're not going to keep that we have someone else that we can work with so there's a high possibility that this AEW shockwave that there's been a uh, a trademark put in for that very well could be a show on FS1 if they do that let's let's just say that's a whole new ball game And that's big if it's not exclusive to the Warners. I think Warner turns around and says, okay, well, we get first-round programming. They could still do, like, an FS1 show that shows a recap of the best of Collision and Dynamite in a one-hour show or even a two-hour show. Collision, Dynamite, Rampage from the week before. Even if it isn't, like... Like, the best example you can give, you run Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, but then the next Friday is when you have the uh, extra show on, right? Sorry, I got so many people. I, I don't know why people are... There's so many... Uh, So I mean, there's a lot of people messaging me offline for online stuff. But anyway, I, I had a request offline just to give you guys a heads up. Leo's putting on a show here. Yeah, there you go. K KJ popping in. Show the shirt. I, I should wait to the end of the match. You know, Leo's putting on a performance. We don't want to under show this here. Leo's been a hell of a performer for years. Just the biggest problem with him is just having his head go straight. But we'll, we'll get to the shirt here. I think we're going to get to the end of the match here pretty quick. There's a 20-minute time limit on the... Because uh, it's a tr actually a tribute to uh, Mike's BFF, Leo. Uh, hell no. If he's changed his attitude, I'm all for him. But my God. I remember him, like, I I've talked about it on here before. The one time I got to meet Leo, he ended up uh, having to sit in my car because everyone... Nope. There we go, that's it. Wonder if that shockwave ends up being a lot... What possibly could happen, and here's my other theory... Rampage gets cut. The deal is for all the PLE or PPVs that become PLEs on Max. And then Rampage essentially becomes Shockwave on another network. Oh. 
Wow, Excalibur, come on. Wow. Excalibur's all over the place tonight. What the hell's wrong with him? All right, so while we got a second here, I said I promised I'd show off the shirt. It is the OG Street Fighter versus uh, the Bucks and Omega. It's in tribute to our stream tomorrow with the uh, release of the Capcom versus Marvel versus Capcom collection coming out tomorrow. Or basically right after tonight's stream, it's going to be low is up. While things are editing, I'm probably going to try to get my make sure my I'll tell you one thing, he does not live in that bus. For the mere fact that I don't think Anna J would live in that thing. If you guys didn't know, those two are an item. I don't see Rampage being cut. I see pay-per-views on Max and having four live shows. Quite possibly could be the case. She might. Oh, my God. Oh, they're just showing a recap. All right. I will say this. I don't like the chair. Sh like, everybody's talking about the chair shot, chair shot to the head, chair shot to the head. Or he sleeps at her place. Smart man. I, I didn't like the chair shot to the head. I'll be the, like, overall, I just can't stand it. But I'm not, like, guess they gimmick it. Yes, they got a lot of, he sleeps in the doghouse. <laughs> oh, they do bring Hangman. He didn't start living in the bus till she left for Japan. Give me one of those as well. Wow. All right, well, Jared's dead. Uh oh. Stop flight got Dark Order.
right, here we go. We know where that's going now. All right, we're getting private party now. Oh, we got we got eight man tag action here or something. Oh, never mind, it's Alex. I don't know if I think of Commander as a... The f... What in the f... No, 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 no! No, please! No! Alex busting a move there isn't exactly... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Excalibur, for sticking the words out of my mouth. All right, who are they taking on tonight? Because I, I don't know which one. Oh, already in the ring competitors. I love this. I had a feeling we were going to get a few of these just because we had to see who was hurt, who wasn't hurt, who was left over. I don't mind the trio. In terms of what they could do in the ring, it just it doesn't make any sense for me to have... All right, well, now it makes a lot more sense. John Schuyler taking his usual def. Well, I guess we're going to hear from Mox. Nice pants. Okay. At least Claudia got different pants on. Yeah. Okay. A lot more. Jim's not going to like this. Eh. I got a feeling we're going to wait. We're going to be here till Darby shows up. Well, we heard from heard from Pac. We're getting Guevara Ricochet early tonight. Okay. And well, we're a quarter in, so I guess it's not the worst in the world. Um, if you guys No oh, They're doing the uh Yeah, Mox is talking you talk mini Mox. <laughs> Nice way. Yeah, they're they're really trying to push the uh, TSM Plus now. I I hope they realize that, you know, they're going to try and push you for a year. 
And I got a feeling AEW is not going to be on here for longer than three more months. But uh, yeah, if you guys check out my X account, I just uh, reposted a post from Veda Scott, and she made a very astute, um, a very astute observation. So Jack Perry drives a bus. The elite, or the the Bucks have their own vehicles. Okada has their own vehicle. FTR has their own pickup truck that they came in. AEW needs to come up with their own racing game. Like, seriously, a Monet cart? I- I'm just saying, you know, Veda's right on right online. Let's just... Let's make some money here and do some racing. I will definitely... We would definitely have races... Hell, we even might even do races during the show uh, while Dynamite's on, if that was the case. That would be a hell of a smart idea if Veda, if Veda can pass that along to the people that need to know. Oh, and uh, I, I talked to the powers that be, by the way, for anybody that other people are going to want to know about this as well. Um, as I've mentioned before, season two of our WWE 2K GM mode is going to wrap up at the end of this month on the 28th. I can let you know that season three has already been renewed. And uh, we are going to be starting up right after season two. We're going to do the draft uh, that night after uh, on the 28th. We'll redraft. We'll be starting up fresh on uh in the beginning of October and the finale if everything math wise goes straight the finale of season 3 will actually take place on Christmas Day or whenever AEW decides to put their dynamite on that week because I got a feeling that dynamite's going to be moved to Christmas Eve maybe or maybe Boxing Day if they skip it all together well we're going to have to figure something out because I'm not doing one on World's End, so. Odds are we'll probably run through the last three seasons and move in, and it'll just be perfect timing for 2K25 to show up. See, here we go, another custom vehicle. Oh my God. That license plate. Zodiac, it's your favorite team in the whole wide world. What do we actually get with Osprey versus Ricochet Wrestle Dream? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is that? Jericho won the blue hell you that's the jacket. Yeah. Attaboy. Attaboy, Brian Keith. That's the jacket that he was wearing in the feud with Orange Cassidy. It originally was or was white until he got put into the champagne. Or the uh mimosa, sorry. Backpack on a pole match. No pole matches. All right. Ricochet didn't have the most auspicious of debuts. and It was fine. It was okay against Kyle Fletcher, but you could definitely tell there's a little bit of nerves. Now he's wrestling at home. So there's no extra pressure at all here. What the hell is that? So there you go, Zodiac. Just, just for you.
I will say I do I, I do love the fact that Ricochet's here. It almost seems like the obvious fit. Like there's some other ones that are an obvious fit as well. That might show up here sooner than later, depending on what the contracts are. We know we know Guevara would be able to keep up Ricochet. Absolutely. And you know he wants to show off because he doesn't get many opportunities on Dynamite. Since he's been gone twice now. Backpack on a pole match with Buff Bagwell's in the backpack comes out after they get it down. Eh, maybe. Or is it the bones of Buff Bagwell's mom? I'll just, yeah, I'll just do that to myself already. I deserve that for that one. That was a little dark. Not Hangman Dark, but still. They should have had Guevara come out first. Just to keep the momentum going. Made me think of Deadpool there. Hey, there's worse things to think about. Sammy, do you remember this show? Um. I think Ricochet's just in a lot better spot now. And let, let's face it, fatherhood will do that to you in some ways as well. Wishing all the best to Ty Mello, who's uh, being an awesome mom right now. Do we know when she's going to come back? I don't know. Whenever she feels good about coming back. Anything you can do, I can do better. Anything I can do better than you. <laughs> she said on Sammy's vlog that she's cleared. Well... There's difference between being cleared and being ready. I love this crowd. This is flippy. Clap, 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 clap. The more I think about it, the more I think that it is going to be Takeshita and Hobbs that win it, that gauntlet tonight, or else it's going to be some team out of nowhere. Because I don't see FTR winning, I don't see G GV, uh, GYV doing it. And Cody number one, the P... I don't think too much of the PWI 500, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I've known some people that have gotten in those spots in the PWI 500. They might be in near the bottom, but it's just because they're friends of friends of friends. Like, let's put let's put it this way. Every position in that uh, PWI 500 can be justified in some way, right? But at the same time, are they really? Well, at least we got no count outs tonight. And he wrecked his leg again. Goes picture in picture as they bring the doctors out. That's great. So just a reminder that uh, you can see the quote that came up on stream elements here if you're watching live. Uh, it is September here. So if you are considering getting a sub, subs are 25 to 30% off right now. Starting tomorrow, there's going to be a bit deal for everyone. Then starting on my birthday, we get gift sub deals. That was a bit of a vibration there. Huh. But yeah, um, if anybody's interested in in a sub, then 
now's the time to do it if you're going to do it. Even if you sub now and you don't feel interested later, anything you do does help out the stream. It's always appreciated. Not necessary, but always appreciated. Starting tomorrow, I start my job. Speaking of getting getting paid, add a add a boy, Jay Quick. I'm glad that everything's going well. Here we uh, we'll typically have our orientation as part of the job. Granted, I work in retail, so you don't have that luxury of uh, it's more learning on the job rather than having to sit through an orientation class. So. It's the thing that sucks about being on retail, so. Oh, you work, okay, so. Bigger retail must have an orientation that's separate because frankly, the one we're working at right now, we literally have to, we have to train on the go because we don't have a choice. Sorry, just got to wet the whistle, a little iced tea tonight. I do have the gamer sub still around. I've just been taking it easy on him a little bit this time of night. Makes you sleep a little easier. But, uh, yeah, watching this match and watch it. Guevara is, like, there, there were always the complaints, like the Jeff Hardy complaint uh, that Guevara hit that uh, GTH on him. Why he was already concussed and the referee and all that, the communication didn't work or whatever. That's why he was off for as long as he was. And then he just, I wouldn't blame him if he turned around and said, to hell with it. I don't care about fatherhood. I'm just going. All right, as we come back here. But yeah, I know they're going to run into Ricochet and Osprey as soon as possible. Wrestle Dream seems like the ultimate place to do that in. I don't know if you want to do it at Grand Slam Collision or Grand Slam Dynamite. Maybe Darby and Sting will be the last team. Grand Slam seems too quick, pun intended. I'll give you that. Did she just turn around and say, I'm sorry, I ain't helping you? Now, here's another question that could just throw everything for a loop here. Like, TNT and TBS, of course, they're the premier shows. Oh, sending it out to his mama. Or maybe his baby mama, one or the other. But if FS1 ends up getting another show... Would you still consider Dynamite the the premier show for the week? Well, at least fan listened to him. But could you imagine if he's just a fan? He's like, no, tell with you. Of course, a little kid, so of course that's not going to happen, but. Because if you don't remember, that's the same kid that got the uh, private party uh, hat or whatever it was. Do rag, whatever.
I can see uh, Ricochet's trying to be the Sammy or not the uh, the Tom Brady of uh, wrestlers, where he gloves on his hands while he's trying to work. He's the flame balls, maybe. Jesus! Sammy just popping a destroyer out of nowhere. All right. Rick, uh, Guevara hitting fourth gear here. I like this. It's going to suck lining up like that. Of course it's going to hurt. At least tomorrow morning will be an early shift. Yeah, I always find that's a bonus. I do know for the last three pay-per-views, I do believe I have to work the next day, so... Things could get borderline stupid on my next day of work. At least there's Sundays. Try to go for the face buster. Guevara said, nope. Blocked. Oh, God. Oh, God. That hurt. All right. So, the, so if you didn't know this uh, vertigo move, this was his finisher on the Indies before he moved into WWE. Then they decided to put him into Mr. 630. Then they realized, you know, that might hurt after a while. Oh, God. Well. Uh. Mortos versus Ricochet. I will take that and a bowl of chips. Sammy getting a good positive spot. He's, he's a tag team with Dustin, right? That match was much better than with Fletcher. Absolutely. He's got the uh, nerves out. He's got... In his hometown, he stood up. Yeah, I, a lot less kinks in this one than he did in the last one. Why does his theme music sound like the Avengers movie? Almost seems like or no Wonder Woman. That's what it, that's what that's what I'm thinking. Sounds like the Wonder Woman uh, theme from the movie itself. This is one of the most underrated matches on the card. I such a great job by both these ladies in this match with a spot that everybody will remember forever. I wonder if they're going to show it. Oh, they showed the glass. There it is. Doing the splits on the tax. No woman or man will ever want that. As we get our DraftKings commercial here once again. I personally think that that match there, if you... If you had eight, 
let's take out those last two matches just because of the violence that was included after. I think a lot of people would have pushed for uh, Statlander and Willow to maybe be the the match of the night there. If it wasn't for if it wasn't Pac and uh, at Osprey for you, very well could have been just. Uh, It could have been the street fight, like straight up. Like the quality of that show is actually rather extraordinary outside of the shock value of it. I think the shock value brings in a lot of fans. The quality of wrestling keeps the rest of the fans. Like, like it's no, like everybody's like, oh, they're just trying to be ECW. In a way, yes. Because, once again, it's the shock factor that brings him in. It's the good wrestling that has him stay. There were three matches that qualified for some of the best of the year. Absolutely. And, depending on your theory here, there could be there could be more in that case. I'm thinking, you know, Pac Osprey. You could think Statlander Nightingale. I personally think you could put the cage match into that effect. I will definitely just... Let's just do that one more time just to be safe. You hold up there with that. I believe the other way... Uh-oh. We'll throw one of those. Now, I... The one thing that the shock value pay-per-views always suffer from, it's the fact that you're always going to remember the one moment rather than the entire card. And yeah, a lot, a lot of people are just going to be talking about that last match. And But yeah, as we're going along here, like there, there's a lot of stuff on Collision that we're going to have to see here and start seeing some storylines forming on that. I wonder what kind of... Uh, branch out we're going to get here because maybe we get Mercedes working a little bit more on collision and then uh, having like having the women's title separate between the two shows I do feel that there is a soft uh, soft brand split coming here we, we've already seen it for many ways because one of the big talking points on a lot of the promos was about how the Bucks don't work Saturdays. I understand that there were other situations circumventing that before, but even more now with certain people only working during the dynamite taping or the uh, collision taping, it just makes sense. Uh oh. <laughs> please give me this match please 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 <laughs> I was waiting for that Please let us have that match. Please give us the cash show, Kata. Oh, and here comes Darby, and it is the top of the hour, so this is where the drama comes. Well, it makes a lot of sense. Bring Darby out now. He calls out Moxley. Moxley comes out, beats the crap up, says, join us or die. No, nope, that's Moxley. Where is it, Darby? It almost looked like Moxley for the angle we were looking at there.
Would it to catch the teams of Lakata? That would be a lot of fun. I don't see it happening because the elite are staying very secluded to who they are. But in terms of Bucks not working at any shows, yeah, well, they got a Lesnar contract. What do you expect? So this is going to be the third segment we're going to see Moxley in. Well, there's the music. There's the uh, scary uh, Tron. If you guys aren't familiar with that, it's the video from his, uh, his initial video when he left WWE. Why does Marina play bodyguard so much? I, I guess it's to get her more exposure, which all the power to them if they can finally get Marina into a more positive situation here. I don't know where this is going to go, but it's sure as hell interesting. Okay. We don't act like superstars. That ain't a shot early. We got a new story coming. Okay. True. Okay. Dun dun dun. Oh God.
What? You are now ready to go to heaven. You were ready five years ago. You weren't ready two years ago. You're not ready today. I don't have time to explain. But I'm going to need you to hand over that title shot quickly. Wow. Wow. Ooh. You want me to hurt? Darby, my man, I will earn it. Me and you, New York City Grand Slam, September 25th. Your world title shot on the line. I will teach you another lesson. What? So Well, we got our main event. She's like, back down, back down. Okay, so I guess Danielson isn't cleared from uh, the Jack Perry match. I, I can't see them p booking a title shot and then unbooking it all of a sudden. So casually like they just did. But I guess Moxley and Allen isn't exactly the worst thing in the world to have. Let let's just say that's going to be bad shit nuts. But is there any way that Moxley can actually not Is there any way Moxley could lose this match? I don't think so. Like the the whole storyline about him taking over, he sort of has to win. <laughs> Shut up, Taz. You ain't no nice guy. That was a quick moment. That was a very quick moment.
kudos to AEW for doing it, but Nigel's getting his match wouldn't surprise me. So, you know what doubly confuses me here? Mariah Mays coming down to the ring and Nigel wants to go talk to Tony Khan right now. So it's sort of like, um, uh, Nigel should be working his way towards the ring, not away from it. Best wishes to Sky Blue once again, by the way. But on the previous point, yeah, like he wants to be her manager. He saw her backstage before the match. I'll give you that one. I like the fact that Queen Anamata is someone different to take on Mariah May. Not the, not the usual, usual cast of characters that's here. They're bringing up somebody who is a real rising star in ROH. But right now she's in the ROH TV title picture. We had Aminata out here for a top talent wrestling show and she's got she's got all the skills to pay the bills. But it just like I, like I said, just the positioning on other cards, it makes me wonder why she's... Maybe I'm completely off and missed a few weeks of uh, ROH and she's no longer in that, that hunt. I, I just think it's completely dumb by Darby, but... Darby's never been known to do the uh, smartest things in the world. Her ring press has got way better. Absolutely. Well, it's all about repetition too, right? So that's one of the big things with Aminata. Like, she hasn't had much for wrestling prior to coming to AEW, period. So... Damn. Speaking of women's matches, Athena versus Giselle. Yeah, they just announced that. Should do it Jeff Jarrett style where you just hop in the hip. Seen in the TBS title picture house soon? I think she might be next up. But she's got to get rid of that ROH women's title first. I think he got a... Uh... All right, there we go. Into the picture and picture here. I, I think Athena has to drop that title and almost makes sense right now to put it on Abaddon. The ROH women's title right now, the current feud I do believe is with, uh, with Abaddon and, uh, and Athena. So, being that it is the spooky season, even if it is only temporary, giving it to Abaddon right now might not be a bad choice. And then flip Athena up to the AEW roster, 
have her take on Monet, get that T TBS title. And she's got that same brand recognition that Monet does. Maybe, maybe not at the same level, but pretty damn close. Because frankly, you're just looking at... Like, don't get me wrong, Mo Monet has the Disney experience and all that other stuff in terms of recognition, but Athena's no slouch to wrestling fans whatsoever. I think we all know that are in here tonight. And watching around the world on VOD. Um, I am going to be, by the way, I am going to be working on having this sidecast, uh, simulcast, try and say that fast five times, uh, to YouTube as well as we go live here. We're probably not going to happen right away. It might be, uh, might be where I wrestle dream. But I do want to get the multi multi uh, multi chat out there, so that, you know I want to make sure I'm able to control it though, because the last thing I need is something stupid going on and getting the uh, channel striked and closed and all that stuff. So just want to make sure I have all my ducks in a row before I can go up there. So because it seems like the uh, the VODs of these uh, sidecasts are actually very popular. In terms of views on the old uh, YouTube channel, relatively speaking, of course. Vic, how the hell are you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. We're having a hell of a fun time. Moxley's running chaos here. I think he's been in three segments already. Of course, Mariah May gets on our screens and you show up. So that sort of makes sense, too. And Aminata, so can't, can't leave her short there. You said they're running AEW now, yeah. Just pulling up from Florida. Where are you? Hope you're staying safe down there. Have Monet lose the belt, keep her on TV and cutting promos, using Camille, wrecking people throughout the roster. Like Warm Joe. Then the women's tiles in reach have Camille turn on Monet and start around. There you go. Yeah, we got some people in here in Florida, so. I know Zodiac's up that way, so. Who's this Wardlow you speak of? <laughs> oh, kissing me, okay. No, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun here to see how things work out with this. Like I said, I don't know if you could see... Darby Allen winning this match. I, I don't see John Moxley losing, more importantly. And I honestly feel that that Wednesday, October 2nd, is going to be the big announcement of the deal with AEW, with, uh, AEW and Tom Warner. If it isn't there, it's going to be on uh, the Tuesday title night of, uh, of AEW, where they're up, to, up against uh, St. Louis uh, NXT. Yeah, that October show is going to be nuts. You miss Ricochet's... Ricochet looked a lot better tonight than he did against Kyle Fletcher. I, I think we've all had that consensus about tonight. We had Private Party and Commander apparently be a team, except they got wrecked by... Uh, uh, got wrecked by uh, Mox and Company. They have to announce before Wrestle Dream. That's if, that's if they're gonna have it on there for uh, Wrestle Dream. I also wonder what they're gonna do for Canada. There is a possibility they could wait till January to do all this stuff, right? Start of a new year. Because frankly, October, November, December is usually one of the more loose times that people are with their money because they're so around Christmas, right? 
I know there's a lot of frugality that needs to be done with certain like because you know people have to be able to afford gifts and whatnot and everything. That's Storm Zero. It, it it's amazing that uh, Mariah keeps using Tony's moves, so you know that feud really isn't over. No, the Storm Zeros made to make him make a statement here. Oh, looks like we might have our major contender here. Well, we just found our screen cap for most of the reviews for tomorrow. Yep, that's pretty much it. Very disappointed in, you know, the fact she hasn't had her celebration. Where's Mina? I called it. Yeah. What in the world is this going to go? This is. This is scary. What does Matt and Nick want now? If it isn't an AEW racing game, we don't want it. Um, Mariah better wreck Mina in a brutal match. I just want to see that match. Why do I have this weird feeling in the back of my neck that that's it? That's going to be the Marseille machine guns. I'm probably 85 to 90% wrong here, but I just have a hunch. Because they're talking about some team coming up and stepping up. Well, the one team they could never beat is sitting right there as free agents. And the fact that this is, once again, like we were talking about, this is the, essentially the Raw After Mania equivalent for AEW here. Yes, I brought that up, I think, four times now. That, uh, I, I, I almost feel like it, if it doesn't happen, it might be a disappointment they're going to try and push if they don't they try they're going to try and push somebody but it'll be interesting to see who they can push cuz the acclaim should be splitting by now FTR doing that again that's going to be an eye roll if they could get Takeshita and Hobbs together I would love it 
I'm assuming top flight's going to be team number one coming out because that's the role that top flight usually handles. GYV, could they show up in this? Probably. What if Takeshita comes out with Omega? Callus family just implodes. <laughs> One, that would never happen. Two, let, let's call a spade a spade here. What if it ends up being Omega and Ibushi? The Golden Lovers. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine the Golden Lovers showing up and win this gauntlet? Just coming at the end and winning it. I, I think the internet might break. Just a little bit. Hey, uh, good to see you here tonight, sir. Uh, sorry I ducked out uh, real quick on your uh, NXT review last week. Unfortunately, I got there an hour late. Now it's just getting to the start of it because in Canada they don't show it on the... Uh, on the proper Sportsnet channel until until two hours later. So, sorry, I guess it'd be three hours later. It's 11 p.m. Eastern when they finally put it on TV here. So, God, I can't wait till it gets to Netflix. Which in Canada, all the shows for WWE are going to Netflix. So, don't, nobody in the chat needs to correct me about anything. I do know what I'm talking about once in a while. Just once. That's all we got. One goddamn hit. You can't say goddamn on the air. Don't worry. Nobody's listening anyway. One goddamn hit I get right. All right. So are they trying to set up? Are they finally going to set up Hater and Soraya? Please, let's just do it to get it over with. Because I'm not. I'm not feeling Soraya here in, in AEW whatsoever. You know what the other, th the other thought is for me? Do they pull the trigger on the Outrunners tonight? By the way, just for the, the record. What is that? Let me get that out for you right now. At least Jericho's coming out of the heel entrance this time. Um, do they pull the trigger on the Outrunners? With the popularity and the... The viral insanity of the Outrunners. Could there be a possibility they pull that out? And just throwing that right out for you. Hey guys! So the Iron Savages. Jacked Jameson. I love Shivani. Just openly mocking Jericho whenever he can. Aubrey's watching this. She's like, you're going to get punched. Got to get serious with Jericho? Come on now. Nobody can. I'm seeing people on uh, on the socials re-emphasize the uh, Mina come back port portion of this. So, Boulder and Big Bill. We love meat. We love meat.
When's their meat division starting? I don't know. We were talking about it earlier. What if, what if the rumors are true and AEW Shockwave is going to be on FS1? Why is Learning Tree in the face corner? Because I, I honestly think they don't give two shits. <laughs> to be honest, when it comes to face and heel corners. Also, the other thing is they want to give visual of Jericho in the uh, Jericho in the jacket, right? Shockwave is just the meat division. A. Hey. They could they could follow up with sumo wrestling right after, and it worked perfect, right? Jericho wants to pick the bones. I, I think Excalibur's right. Is that the first time Jericho's won that way? I don't think Jericho's ever won with that foot before. All right, we're going to get to see what's in Orange Cassidy's backpack. What the hell is that? It'd be easier if they don't even mention it at all, but still make it the meat division. Yeah. Does he have a Shivani quote? On? Yeah, Big Bill does. Because it's the one time that he got a compliment from Shivani, so he had to ta he had to put it on his trunks. This is rough. Uh, Bill just looked at Jericho. Uh, that look on Bill was very interesting. The rest of the oh my god. Oh my god, they're doing it. They're, they're doing it. Yes. Seven thousand dollars all over the car. I love it. Keep the change. Exact change. I love it. Both Bill and Keith did a pot. Eh. That didn't look like. See, if they were smart, it would have done it all in pennies. 
Because 70,000 pennies would be a hell of a lot of fun sight. Because we're hitting the commercial break here. And who let Briscoe drive the forklift? He's on a farm. He drives tractors all the time. It's one or the other. So, uh, yeah, it is but prior to the last match tonight, we're going to get about 20 minutes of Casino Gauntlet here. So, uh, as tradition, we are going to be a quick rundown of what's going to be going on here. Um, after we're done here tonight, we have the Survivor Series PLE on uh, WWE 2K24. Uh, just been rattling it through my head. We are going to be opening up with the cage match between... The number one contender, Gunter, in the former world title holder, taking on Trent Shaw, our consummate underdog. And our main event tonight for the WWE Tag Team Championships. It will be Dominic Mysterio and Baron Corbin taking on the team of Stax Lorenzo and Clint McDougal, our favorite rent-a-cop. And Dominic has declared that if he loses this match, uh, he that that will be the last straw. Something to remember about right after we're done here tonight. And I know I'm blowing a little surprise here. If Dominic loses, we're trading his ass. I don't care what we have to get for him, but we're going to trade his ass for something. Because, well, I don't put up with that garbage. I don't care that he has a singles level four few going. I can build those up in five weeks. But yeah, anyway, off on the tangent, back it up here. Tomorrow, as long as I can get my fight stick up in a decent amount of time, because I haven't, I've never played a game off Steam on stream before, so I still have to work on it. The Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection is out tonight, midnight Eastern we getting a shot at it tomorrow. What we're going to... I'm not going through any training mode. We're not going to do any long stern. We're going to get in there. We're going to play some matches. I'm going to get my ass kicked. And we're going to go through some stories and enjoy... It. Live up the memories of Marvel vs. Capcom. The whole series. And then, uh, no stream Friday. Saturday, we'll be back with AW Collision and week 21 of uh, WWE 2K24, my GM. Uh, Sunday, we'll be here. We're going to try Astrobot again, see how far we can get. Tuesday, will be the Marvel vs. Capcom collection. Wednesday, we'll be back here with AW Dynamite and week 22 of my GM mode. Once again, everybody, thank you for being here and the hell is nigel doing in the ring oh god he's got a partner in chaboni What? Which brings me to this. Nigel versus Danielson at Grand Slam?
Nein, ja! Okay. Let's go! Happy birthday to me! Uh, yeah, Grand Slam's the day before my birthday. That means that his injury needs attention sooner than anticipated. Eh. It's not a title match, though. Really? Oh, you man with mocks. Okay. Nigel expression speaking volume more than his words. Yeah, like he's he's dying for this match. Yeah, absolutely it is. All right, so now we're getting they're, they're going to book this match here eventually. But yeah, Nigel versus Danielson and Darby versus Mox for Grand Slam. So I'm guessing we're probably going to get a women's match thrown in there. And that's probably, that might even be it. Those three matches. We could very well get three matches on that card and that's it. And I'd be more than happy. I'm a s I'm waiting for your set. Any time, any place you want. I'm telling you, Roger, when's it gonna be? I wanna see you try and take this away from me. Hook's pissed. So yeah, now we Okay, so I wonder if the EVPs are going to sit on commentary for the next 20 minutes. It's going to be awesome to see Nigel versus Danielson. It's going to be awesome to see Darby and Mox and see what craziness they do. Like, I... Grand Slam is turning into a hell of a show. <laughs> I'd like to see everybody just beat up on the box as they go down to the ring. GYV versus FTR on Saturday. Uh, folks, did I mention we're doing a collision sidecast on Saturday? That that will be appointment viewing right there. GYV versus FTR. Two of the best three initial teams in the world right now. All right, 
Aussie Open. All right. You know how much they, these two have probably been wanting to do this in AEW for a while now? I so want to get that shirt. I want to get that shirt from Osprey. Called in his favorite tonight. Well, they're not going to win. Oh, that's right. The tag match is the third match at Grand Slam. So then you throw in a women's match and that's it. Let's go. This is going to be a lot of fun. Go for the Oz cutter right away. Trying to go for the gory special. Here we go. Shatter machine. We're done. Wow. That Blanchard bomb, my God. I know Excalibur doesn't want to, he wants to use the technical terms. That's a Blanchard bomb, that's Tully's specialty. Twenty-one teams available in total. We ain't getting twenty-one teams out here. Can you picture forty people around this ring? I love that AEW doesn't say that they have exact uh, intervals or anything like that. Just yeah, we'll 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 let you know. So the last thing I need is to sit here with a damn stopwatch and. Going for power and glory. Osprey too strong to kick out. Who's number three? Let's go. There we go. The Righteous. This is actually not bad. We haven't seen them on TV since uh, MJF took care of both of them in one shot. Well, I guess it was Samoa Joe that helped him too, but I digress. I love the Righteous too. Like I, I wish we'd see more of them, but yeah, we haven't seen them in months, if not. Nice. I love how these guys try to figure who's a legal person in a match like this. Go over the Styles Clash. That's how to counter it. Boo right to the face. Dutch trying to play defense here. That's probably why he was telling Callus he didn't want to do this. Yeah, 
Oh, production screwed up. All right, another heal team, so it balances out. I don't know why these guys wear their gear out and then all of a sudden they're, they're not even at the top of the ramp and they're already uh, out of it. Just come up with all your gear. Half of it isn't, it, most of it isn't for sale at the, at the merch booth, so it's not like you're trying to impress the, uh, the crowd here to buy some of your merch. I think Osprey forgot to kick out. I honestly think Osprey forgot to kick out there. My God, as we hit the picture in picture, they're starting to push those TSM Plus com commercials again here. And be honest, it ain't working that well. <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact that I needed to watch it for our sidecast on the weekend, I would not be buying TSM Plus. There isn't enough on there for me to justify it. Granted, I need to ditch cable, cable, but that's another story altogether. Just checking out a couple things here real quick here. See if there's anything online that new to Bill. So we're probably going to get an entry during the break here. Hear that? The break's got to be quick. I didn't even realize we only got about nine minutes left until the top of the hour. So, once again, it is AEW, so we can go over time. But I just love all these ROH. You can see that the. The ground from ROH leading into this match here with a lot of these teams. Like the Righteous, they were one of the last trios tag team champions under uh, Sinclair, right? And of course, Taven and Bennett, they're like forever tag champs. Taven's a former heavyweight champ. He's the guy that was uh, heavyweight champ when they, when ROH and New Japan invaded Madison Square Garden, according to Vince. Unfortunately, he eventually couldn't do anything about it, so thank goodness. All right, come back from commercial. We should have a new team coming out here in just a moment. There, back from the commercial, we got a new team coming in. Ah, here comes the acclaimed. Well, he touched the title. He definitely ain't winning it. So we got five teams in here so far. They said there's 21. There is no way in hell we're getting 21 teams out here. Could you imagine 42 people in the, in the ring at the same time? Hockey rules. Hockey fight. What is Stokely doing out there? I'd love to see a line change come out here eventually, but. I, I don't like the overhead shot where they show the righteous just sitting at ringside. 
It is the way you do this to make it make sense, but... This might not be good. Don't let the acclaimed win. Big disappointment. Thank you. We need a countdown. A guitar driver. Okay. I got a feeling there. there it is. Mason Mansour. I can just imagine the Bucks that we got these guys. They're, everything looks great right now with MXM. They're just... The tush push. The rear view. Gotta touch tips. I swear to God the Rads did this first. Well, that's a good way to break things up. So. I can't wait for it either. Like, honestly, that's a reason to tune in. That would be one of those, if you want to put it on Title Tuesday, that would be a Title Tuesday match. If you want to screw, like, you're fighting up against NXT, that's how you can, oh my god. Are we not doing any more? Oh god. <laughs> so I feel bad for David. David got crunched by Dutch there. Or not David, Bennett, sorry. Another picture of picture at three minutes too. All right. Well, this better be a quick commercial. Two guys want a scissor. Two guys want a finger. Yeah, it's just. Nope. 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 Not going to touch it. Not going to touch that one with it. A... No. Nope. 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 Not going to touch that one with that one. And that one. Goal correlations. I'm not getting into that one whatsoever. I'm not Nope 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 That could be a viral moment I just don't want it <laughs> Oh my Oh, well, now we're going to get the scissoring. At least, you know, we got one. And, of course, Osprey, because my new favorite wrestler once again, taking out Caster in the middle of the ring. Once again, everybody, just thank you for stopping by here. Appreciate you. Because this is a lot of fun watching this tonight. I hope you guys are having fun watching as well. We'll be back here on Saturday for Collision and see what, see what they got coming out on the other side besides GYV versus uh, FTR. Which is the basically the only reason why I know FTR isn't winning this. All 
All right, well, they work well together. Oh, wait, there you go. Bowen's down a figure four. Now Caster in a figure four. Dual sharpshooters. Everybody in submissions. And the bad guys come in and clean them all up. That's always great. I just wonder how many more teams we got coming out here. I, I'd assume we'd have one or two. Let's face it, the, the tag team division in AEW isn't exactly the biggest in the world, I think is the best way to put it. Or it is big, like the House of Black should be here. The Patriarchy should be here. I honestly thought these guys would be first first out. Could we get top flight versus the Bucks? I'm not too thrilled about it, but it could happen. We should get the conglomeration team out. Pin him. Present versus future. Let's go. All right, Dante, I see you. Nice shot. Drop salt. Insiguri. Thank you, Dante, for not giving it away too early. That's what I mentioned earlier, what he's... He was stepping his foot on the rope. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. Let's take that foot off. Disaster kick. All right, everybody's hitting finishers right now or hitting power moves. Knee to the face. Shatter machine. <laughs> wow everybody's like yeah nope no no nope 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 and here comes everybody's favorite could you imagine They got their first win. Could they get their second in a title shot? I, I got a feeling there's going to be another team out here yet. There's got to be one more. And they aren't pinning anybody. Let's go.
Wow. Well, this crowd just fired up in a hurry. You know the Outriders, how or the Outrunners, sorry, have got one of the highest merchandise sales in AEW. Oh, GYV's got the, of course. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. Well, we'll see them on Saturday. We ain't going to see them out here. That, that's just going to clear the ring out a little bit more, right? Well, Mansur's taking everybody up. Oh, God. Turbo Floyd with a suplex. Let's go. On to everybody. Don't tell me the Outrunners are going to win this. No way. Vincent just barely grabs him at the last second. I think we all wanted to see it. The Outrunners win. All right, there's a little bit of insanity here. They are really going into overtime here. Everybody's hitting their finishers now. Yep, here comes everybody with their... Yep. Getting close here, Jesus. I want one more team. There's got to be another team. No. No way. So we're getting Fletcher and Osprey versus the Bucks. Um... With all due respect, the 25th of September, that card, that's a pay-per-view card. Grand Slam is a pay-per-view card. Danielson McGinnis, Aussie Open versus the Young Bucks. I'm just going to call it what it is. And Moxley and Darby. Like, that isn't the whole card, but that's enough of a card. We're going to get, like, we're either going to get, we're probably going to get Mercedes on there against somebody. Well, that's sort of an unnes a necessary evil on a big show like that. And I hate to say that because, you know, Mercedes should be better than what she is right now, but. But yeah, like, all right. Now, does this end up being the disillusion of Fletcher? Fletcher from the Don Callis Collective? Maybe. Is this where Fletcher turns on, or Fletcher's forced to turn on uh, Osprey at the end after they lose? Possibly. This very well could be where we get, this is how we set up Takeshita versus, versus Osprey here, right? I'm not feeling bad about the. I, I would love to see somebody new, but it. I have to admit, there is somebody new going for the tag titles. A team that we've always wanted, but we never thought we'd get. Like, can we get Mark Davis back and get that faction back together? 
I'm assuming Davis is getting better every week. All in all, I, I have to say tonight, it, it's a little crazy, but it's been a bit of a home run here tonight. Amanata had a great showing against Mariah. Ricochet had his best match yet against Sammy Guevara. Moxley's running rampant over everything. Commander's shown the best dance moves that he's had in a very long time. Yeah, everything that lined up here, like even Christian. It was a promo segment. It wasn't the best promo segment in the world, but it was still a promo segment. Still worked out. But yeah, with another show in two weeks. Like, just remember, we have two weeks till Grand Slam. They have set up a card that the 25th is going to be an absolute staggering great show. And then following following Grand Slam week, they have uh, Title Tuesday, which is that night that they're going up against St. Louis NXT. So let's just say we're getting a lot of dream matches that we didn't expect. But Danielson versus McGinnis... We're going to get it. I thought we were going to get it in Tacoma. We're getting it in New York. That is going to be one dynamite I don't think anybody's going to want to miss.